What's up guys, this is your host Young, once again here with you from Epic Tech Tips. I just wanted to do a little review of the Beats Wireless which I recently purchased about a week ago and I'm finally ready to review it after thorough usage for about a week. Uh, first things first, this is the studio versions and this is the wireless versions. As you can see there's quite a big difference between sizing as far as sizing goes. When you fold it, when you unfold it, open it up all the way. This is the size difference between the wireless ones and the one on the left are the studios. The build quality is similar in terms of material that they use to build it. It feels both plastic on the side. On the studios you have the on and off switch. On the wireless ones you have all the button controls. If you guys can see it any better. And let's get to the review. First of all, I would like to say all the pros of the wireless compared to the cons. Uh, basically, the pros of the wireless. Here you go. First things first, it is wireless. That's basically why people would buy them. It's wireless. And second thing is it has a built-in microphone to it as well. So once you connect it to any phone via Bluetooth, you can make calls with it, send receive calls. You, If you have an iPhone 4S, you can use... It, you can use these to control Siri if you have voice command and um, that's about it as far as um, the microphone and then the next topic is battery life battery life I would say on continuous usage I've left these on for one whole day playing streaming music from my iPhone to the Beats wireless and I would have to say it's between six to eight hours I've done I've done two tests of one whole day of usage and it, the first test lasted about like seven hours or so playing music at full volume and then the next day it lasted a little bit longer seven and a half hours so I would have to say it's between six to eight hours of continuous usage depending on how you use it and the cushioning itself as far as comfort wise yes it's very 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 comfortable it's uh, similar to studios I don't know if, if if you've ever tried on the studios before it fits exactly the same I wouldn't say the same however it does feel as comfortable as the studios and um, the button controls. As um, as far as I'm concerned, I had no problems or concerns using these. It's really simple to use. As you, as you can see, there's little tips that are protruding out. All you have to do is you can feel it while it's on your head. All you have to do is just press it. It click. It's a clicking button, so it's easy to click. I'm not sure if you can hear that well, but yeah. And then to power it on, all you have to do is turn it on. And then you'll see a blue LED light come on. I'm, it's actually white if it's already paired. And then once it's paired up, it'll turn blue. Turn it off, do the same thing. It turns red to let you know that it's turned off. And to pair it, it's really simple. All you have to do, if it's off, you hold it down. You keep holding it down, and then this LED will blink blue continuously. That means it's in ready to pair mode. And once you pair it up with your phone, it's really simple. There's no passcode required. All you have to do is uh, search for the device on your phone or any other Bluetooth device. And then just click it, and it'll sync automatically. Let me turn this off real quick. And the range of connectivity as far as the Bluetooth goes, it's about, I would have to say, 30 feet. I haven't gone past 30 feet because usually the phone's right in your pocket or inside your house and I have no reason to go further than 30 feet away from my phone while listening to music and as far as the quality goes sound quality I would have to say these are similar to the solo HD's in terms of sound quality the bass is not all the way there even though it is battery powered I thought it would have active noise cancellation which I'm disappointed to say it does not it's not like the studios does not have active noise cancellation and on top of that the quality is there's little 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 less bass compared to the studios and these are a lot more quality like quality in terms of sound is a lot more comparable to the solo HDs which require no battery at all now with all the pros being said let's get to the cons negative size to the headphones it's Bluetooth only meaning that you cannot use a 3.5 millimeter headset to an oh, iPod, let's say, which has no Bluetooth, like in a regular iPod. You cannot use it to any other MP3 player, which is not Bluetooth enabled. 
and you can only use it with Bluetooth devices, which is, I mean, if, you're, if your priority is to connect with your only iPhones, then that's fine, but let's say you, you have both an iPhone and an iPod, and you want to switch around, you cannot do that. You can only use these with your iPhone. And smaller sizing. These are, as you can see, a lot smaller than the studios itself. So if you have a bigger body structure, you might not find these to be quite comfortable on you. And there is no noise active, active noise cancellation feature, which I have to say is a little bit disappointing. Um, as far as connectivity with the phone goes, making phone calls and all that, um, I, I've made a few test calls here and there, called a couple of people on my phone book, they told me that they couldn't tell the difference whether I was on the phone or on a Bluetooth headset. However, they did tell me that there is an, a slight echo from all the calls that I've made and um, all the responding feedback that I received from them. And there's a slight echo on every phone call I've made. And one more con is there is only one color available so far, which is the, these black ones right here. Uh, if you want any other color, you would have to probably wait until it beats decides to release them in more colors or you can always go to color wear and then have a custom paint available which is like 300 bucks nobody really does so that's about as far as cons go all the negative ideas that's about it oh and one more thing once these are on your head like let's say your head is like this and these are on it's quite uncomfortable to press the buttons because the buttons are clicking but it presses your ear and the whole headphone moves around so it's not as comfortable as you think it's probably easier to hold the headphone steady and then press the buttons but the buttons are not hard to press at all it's really simple and then the middle one is a play pause button as well too so these are really simple to press buttons and because of these little grooves on the headphones itself on the buttons it's really simple to find which button you want to press and as far as pricing goes would I recommend them Here's the deal. If you have the studios, this is, these go for $299 uh, brand new. These go for $329.99 brand new MSRP. Would I choose the studios over this? Yes, I would. I would recommend, if you have the studios, I'd recommend the studios. I, I wouldn't recommend selling them and try to get the wireless ones. However, if you, if you need, absolutely need wireless connectivity, then go with these. These are probably the only ones and best ones in the market so far. Uh, with that being said, unless uh, 50 Cent decides to release his, which hasn't been released, he's been talking about it for about over an year, which hasn't been released yet. But if you do have the studios, I'd say keep them. Quality on the Beats Wireless are, are good, don't get me wrong, but they're not as great as the studios. The, the studios, the bass, are really, really good. Highs and the lows, you can hear every detail in every single song that you ever listen to. The wireless ones, they've done a good job um, with constructing it, but sound quality lacks a little bit for a um, high-end pair of headphones, which you shell out over $300 for. And as far as comparison goes, I honestly, I can't say any other companies has made a Bluetooth headset, which is like considered a high-end brand. As far as any other questions or concerns you guys can always feel free to ask you guys can follow me on twitter at epic tech tips post a link down below and you guys can always subscribe up above and i'll have newest newest and latest coolest products available for review pretty much i'm trying to be a lot more active in this channel so let's try to i'll try to start posting video reviews at least like once every week or so and for any other questions you guys can feel free to ask me on twitter or message me on youtube Till then, peace, son. Tell your friends, tell your friends, soon enough that I'll be on. If you come in with that beef, it better be filet mignon. Superhero flow, out of space, riding on my comet, man. I vomit on the shit. Let's the rapper zone, wanting many taking.